So here is a question from Oxymoron. Um, should there be official Christmas and other Christian holidays in secular countries like the United States and France, considering similar privilege isn't offered to many other religions like Eid and Diwali? Uh, should concept of Sunday holiday be imposed on non-Christian traditions? Isn't it a bit too authoritative to impose Gregorian calendar as official calendar in technological age, considering other religions have their own? Okay, so there's a lot of questions wrapped into this question. But first, I think we need to clarify some things about how holidays work in the United States. So um, my understanding is that although we do have the holidays of the majoritarian religion, Christianity, already honored within um, like uh, vacation days for schools, state schools, government holidays, um, fed federal holidays, etc. Um, and you know you don't automatically have days off for Diwali, for example. Um, by law, you are entitled to have those days off and recognized by your employer and by the state. And if they don't, that's actually illegal. So it is unfair that people from minority religions have to like kind of take an extra step to make sure that they can take the time off and have that be recognized. Um, whereas Christians, you know, it's just already within their work calendar that that will be taken off. Um, but you can actually, that is, you're saying a similar privilege isn't off offered to many other religions. That actually, it is honored and offered. Like I had um, a Zoroastrian person I went to college with and she got upset with her work because they didn't let her take time off to celebrate a holiday and um but then she I talked don't... to them and they're like oh my god we didn't realize like that's totally legal i'm sorry like you can take this kind of time off now blah 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 that's so unfair okay all of this is so uh, more unfair to atheists rather than to religious people okay so i could go like be like hey my my magic sky daddy told me that this day of the week i should be able to go you know talk to my imaginary friends so legal legally you have to give me this time off you have to like you bend you know the a corporation has to you know bend the knee to your sky daddy like recognize like the law is recognizing the authority of your you know superstition and what do i like why can't we can't do that as an as atheist right i can be like hey the the leprechaun in my underwear drawer told me that i need to be home on mondays like there's no law forcing the any company to be like hey that says leprechaun his leprechaun told him that right there's nobody nobody's has to accept my excuse for why i want to be home on mondays so i think the solution should just be like just more flexibility for everybody rather than just be like Hey, the Saturdays and Sundays. I just think like more flexible working hours for everybody. So everybody could just like you can't just be like, hey, Christians have this, Muslims get this, Zoroastrians get this, I don't know, Hindus get that, atheists you could go get fucked. Uh, but everybody else, like, because they just believe in magic, mm -hmm. the, uh, the law has to bend, you know, bend the knee. Um, like if you're gonna do that, just make it so that everybody could be like decide what what are those the two days that they want off you mm -hmm. just make it don't make it based on religion just make it based on personal choice some people could choose like saturday and sunday some people be like i want saturday and monday right like just make it you know and just tell them that you can't keep changing it here here's a new law pick your two days and just be consistent with it for at least once every six months. Like you can't be like this week. Like if you if you think it's too costly for the companies, just be like you can't just keep changing it every week. Okay, so make it secular. Don't make it based on religion. Also, do you think like we, like the other thing is that, I mean, we don't complain about. There are many things that I don't know are Im imposed. I mean, it's just the way that the uh, the world is running. Like, people don't complain about like, oh, why is Wednesday named out of Odin? Like, oh, I don't believe in Odin. Like, I just think people just like think there are certain things that came from the past, and they had a religious nature. And if they have lost their entire the religious reasoning behind them, 
then stop acting like religion is being imposed on you, right? Like how many atheists, for example, are complaining about Christmas being imposed on them? Most of them just like celebrate it, right? Like I see, you know, Muslims might complain about Christmas being imposed on them, but atheists are not Christians. We don't complain that much about Chris, Christmas being imposed on us, right? And I and I'm t I I'll bet you, okay, if Islamic countries at some point become a lot more chill, okay, and their eats become, um, capitalism takes us, you know, does its th magic on uh, Islamic festivals to the point where people are. Secular people are celebrating it in the same way they celebrate Christmas. I bet you a lot of atheists in like Islamic countries 100 years from now would have no problem celebrating Islamic Eid as if it's just like a secular thing that you do because it's just a ritual thing. Like, I don't have to believe in Allah and Muhammad. It's just like, by the way, I don't think like Islamic Eids are as much as fun because capitalism hasn't done its magic on them as much as it has. <laughs> When it comes to, I don't know, Thanksgiving and Christmas or Halloween. But once it does, I think, I think even, I think even Ashura, Ashura will become festive and beautiful and fun if it becomes secularized. I tell you, the Shias got their work cut out for them. And yeah, <laughs> through the magic of capitalism, I think even Ashura could be turned. I mean, if you look in Iran, they're turning Ashura ceremonies into rave parties, right? So it's already happening. I just think like hundred years from now, people would like people would be going to Ashura and to Ashura because it's just too much. Not because of Hussein or any crap like that. It's just because it's just too much fun, right? That's my prediction at some point. Yeah, I think it's an interesting question about like. Um the monday through friday work week like why should this be imposed on non-christian traditions um there isn't really a good reason as to why besides the fact that this is just the system that's been or like uh, which calendar do we use it's really just about what has been it, it adopted as an international norm it just happens to come from one tradition or another um was really interesting, for example, in the UAE, the UAE recently moved to a Monday through Friday workday so that they can keep up with um, the business sector in other countries. Um, and this has caused a huge controversy because people are like, I have to work on Friday now. Um, and so it, that's been very interesting to observe. So a lot of countries just do it for the utility of being competitive um, and they have to adopt certain norms of their competition. Um, yeah, it, this also reminds me of, I had the most embarrassing conversation with Armin behind the scenes a, a few weeks ago about the Persian calendar. <laughs> don't, don't out yourself. <laughs> Are you going to tell them? I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> no, don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> I just kidding. Needless to say, I was being a dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm just going <laughs> to leave it at that, but <laughs> so funny. Um, All right. I was like, wait a second. So you're in what year? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I can't even explain it. Um, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.